All right, welcome to my channel, everybody. On this episode, we're working on mobile home floors, and we have about 10 days worth already if you're a new subscriber or you're new to the channel. And if you are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you're notified next time we put out a video. On this job, we're trying to do one per day. Sometimes we get two, but we are working on mobile home floors. Drew with left-handed Paul. And if you uh, were interested in mobile home floors, this is the channel you want to be at. It's raining today. Raining today. Sure would. <coughs> Saw blades hard to take off unless you use the square. And make it straight unless you have a chop saw. That'll do it. Well. This, this, this wall here. See, the outside band has popped out a little bit right there. Because <coughs> right now, Paul, I'm flush out there. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Tying in the bottom plate to the outside band. And that's what you want to do to do that. Tying in the bottom plate everywhere where you can. <coughs> this will tie it all together. You got the band, then you got your blocking. Ties everything back together. The outside band, and then into the new blocking. Now your outside band and your blocking and your walls, everything is tied in. Yes, sir. Underbelly. New. Huh? All right. What do you need? You move that one, move my finger. Oh, that far? Yeah. Bit. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay. Half inch, three quarters is good. Okay. Trying to get in the middle here. I'm shooting in there. Hmm. <laughs> not sure where you're at. What are you trying to screw into? The outside? Yeah. You see the screw right here? No. Can't see it because of the blocking. I think you need to go towards the back of the trailer. Okay, so I got something up there. Give me one more screw. Shouldn't need longer ones. We shouldn't need longer ones. Oh yeah, much better. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Why is it down so far? I don't know. Oh yeah, that other piece of one by. I didn't take it out. The one by? The panel? Yes. The other piece of panel I didn't take out. Oh. So it's got me another half inch down there. Oh, I see what you got going on. There. There ain't no problem there. Yeah. No. No, that looks you good. Get a, you got a hammer coach by? Uh, yeah. All right, yeah. Hammer. Here you go, brother. Right there. Uh huh. Gotcha. gotcha. Nice. Nice and tight. I don't gotta hold on to it. No, it's nice and tight there. Nice and tight. That's what we're gonna set our insulation on. <laughs> Be able to insulate that whole outside wall. Like Just like that. You got it down there already? <laughs> Put my camera, don't be in your way. Get this whole process right here. <coughs> it's waterproof, I ain't worried about that part. Nice. Yeah. You ready? Got your knife right here, I'm gonna put it in your screw box. You want screws? Mm -hmm. Right there, buddy. Knife's in it. Right. One by fours, two of them. I mean, you need three? I got three. Mm -hmm. There's two right here. Can you put a button? There's the third one right here. And you're going to need some on the outside, too, aren't you? Yeah, two more. Yeah, two more. Two more. For the outside. I need a uh, full total. So I had to fix that little spot down there, too. Yep. All right, buddy.
there. Yep. Small box? Yes, I do. I mean, you. William. Can't see my hand. What's that, buddy? You can't see my hand. No. Move this one piece of plywood and hand it straight to me. Yeah, I can see it. What'd you say now? That's three of them? Yeah. That's two of them. That's That's two one, sorry. Yeah. Smallest thing. 
should be able to get in would be a rat. I'm gonna keep them out of your house. Yeah, here. I had that woman pull us out there, so I'm ready to go to the bathroom. Right. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can get to it. Oh, yeah. Come on, here, Paul. Where you at? Oh, okay. Oh, you're all the way over here. Where you at? Hell, Paula. I got remember we got a whole sheet of plywood up here, brother. Yeah. I can see the outside wall. I'm in the center. Okay. Well, that's where we got the big piece of plywood. Oh boy. All right, where you at? Right here. Right here, Okay, what about it? I'm fixing this hole. What do you need? Uh, one by fours. Yep. I reckon I need two of them. Come and screw to this one and screw to this one. Yes. You got a piece for it? I'm just gonna measure how wide I got. I got a 30 inch piece, but I think it's wider than that. Nope, 30 inches work fine. Okay, two pieces. Yeah, two pieces of one by fours. Okay, got them already. Four foot? Yeah. Got it. Coming up. Tight in it. down on it. There you go. There you go. You could Yep, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. You do the other end? Yep. Okay. That's good and solid right there, buddy. That's solid. Didn't get any better than that. Huh? Coming out. Coming out. Lunchtime. Yep. Nasty. There you go. That's what your underbelly should look like from the top side. Now, the other thing we'll come back down through here is that's not coming up. We're down it. It's not floatable. But we, what we want to do is put a piece from here over to here to hold that down. Not to mention there's going to be insulation on it. But if we put a piece of block from here to over here and do the same over there, just like just like you're looking at down there. See that blocking? That's going to hold these things together. Nice and tight. Can't blow up can't go down insulation on top our 19 on the floors our 13 on the outside walls floors because of the only three and a half inch two by four 
Floor joists, which is utterly ridiculous on a mobile home. Mm, it's lunch. Don't need this wall no more, do we? Get rid of it. Keep the bottom. Piece is in. I said that piece is in. You got there? Insertion. Huh? Insertion. Insertion. Cut that piece off. Huh? No, it's got insertion up now. Oh. 
Oh, I see what you got. Here? Yeah. Oh my god, that's from the leak? Yeah, it's more clock. Oh shit. Yeah, it's more clock. Oh, look, coming right through this receptacle. Uh, yeah, the leg. <laughs> Not showing on the ceiling. No, I hear it. Probably coming through your attic, right there. Huh? Your chimney. Coming through your chimney. Yep. Receptacle soaking wet right here. Of course, ain't no power on it. All right. Yeah, we got to find that. We're just messing up everything. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I got that cool seal, but it's not going to do no good with it wet. No. Probably leaking around this vent or something. No, we're going to take that out and close that up. I know. Put a piece of metal up for right now. You know what I mean? Take the vent out and put it cool. Yeah, it's leaking somewhere up there. Not showing, it's not even showing down here where the water's coming from, but yeah, it's pouring down that wall. Can't see it from the inside. It's only going down in between this part. It's coming down pretty good though. I don't like that at all. Yeah, I can't put any tricks on it. No, can't put any solution down there. Not until we find out why it's leaking. Oh. I can see light over here when you do that. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Alright, well we found a leak that we gotta deal with. We don't like that. That's going right on our underbelly. Which that'd be on our insulation. Because <laughs> there's a hole over there, almost a perfect circle where I guess an animal came through, I don't know. Or maybe that went to that heater. Pretty good circle. But she's soaking wet here. I'm not sure we we're, one more sheet on. yeah we can go insulate only to here and then hopefully it's not raining tomorrow we can get up here and seal that leak probably have to end up replacing that piece yeah under the bunner bed yep oh, yeah, that it's just gonna fall apart i mean and now that it was able to get there i guess it was able to get there before that's why that section of that floor was rotted out right up through here remember the whole way across the paul that's why yeah, yeah. Hey, got water right there I see that. Yeah. It's coming down at the center of the wall right there. It's bad. I see that. That's terrible. Right through the floor right there. And look, coming from I don't know where, but <laughs> I sure can't. It doesn't go all the way up. It's pretty weird. No, because you ain't got any inside wall. No. And the only spot I see is weakening it right there. Yeah, yeah, the only place I see yeah, right there. there. That's the only spot I see. Oh, that's good. Not anywhere here, no way. Oh, that's paneling too. So yeah. I'm not looking at the back of the wall. Wall, no. I'm looking at paneling. You're looking at the back side of the panel on that yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Well, where? All that water came through that <laughs> hole. <laughs> that hole. Yeah. But how did it get over here? I don't know. Because <laughs> it's right through the receptacle. I know. <laughs> you me, dude. Don't know, Paul. Do not know, Sam, I am. We find out. I know. <clears throat> Man. Too bad we didn't have some more pan. We take that heater and that wall out. You right? I guess they need that for their closet. Closet wall. Yeah. And no, I don't think a washer and dryer will fit in there. Yeah, it will. There ain't no place for it, Paul. No. How many? Yeah, you got 22. Yeah. There ain't no washing dryer going in there. So it won't fit. No. No. Plus, there's no place for the water. No. I guess it's in the bathroom. That's the bathroom, right there. <laughs> Maybe the. Well, where the where is the washer and dryer? They got them. <laughs> yeah, it's up there behind that wall. Yeah, it goes goes right there. Yeah, inside the bathroom. Yeah, inside the bathroom. I'm gonna cut this loose one and pick up these pipes. Yeah, I gotta pick it up. That's not gonna work. All right. Yep, yeah, until we can fix that, we're not gonna go any further. Yeah. But we might be able to get two or three more sheets in here today. Oh, yeah. If all goes well, one. One. 
How long is this thing, Paul? I wonder where 16 feet is. Of course, we got to fix that floor joist. I got 16 feet right here. Sweet. Well, we still got to add to these. Yep. Gotta add a one before here. Yep. Either that or just clean the rest of it off. I should be able to see it. To tighten it up. Yep. Flat bar. Grab that big boy, he's heavy. There you go. Big hand was that in the closet. Huh? Thor? No, big hand. Oh. <laughs> Screw it there. Put the screw One screw. I'm actually tighter than I like it to be, but <laughs> I'm thinking it will. Beautiful. Get, that. Get, on. Get on that piece there, buddy. I'm waiting on you. I'm waiting on you. On you, my friend. Yeah, come on in. Oh yeah, gave us a gap. Beautiful. Beautiful. I like it. Sweet. <coughs> I like it, Paul. We got a gap here, a gap there. Everywhere a gap gap. What's that, buddy? I know. Nice. I know it. That's 20, what, 24 feet? 20, more than that. Eight, twelve, eight, sixteen, well, you got 24, 
a 30 foot room. Yeah. That's pretty big. Uh, big old room! Yeah. All right, well, we're gonna come back tomorrow. And first thing we're gonna do is try to make sure that we don't have any more leak issues right here. You ever take a kiss look at that. The... Oh yeah, look at that, it's dripping. Yeah, it is, that's where it came from, right there. Yeah. Huh? It's dripping. Oh, we could run out. oh yeah. <laughs> run out. Man, poor. Run out. <laughs> right on our board though. Never no, it ain't. I'd rather have it go where it's already leaking out down there. Yeah, so that's already wet. We're gonna change it. Like that's that. burning water. Yeah. But but we're gonna change that out. I didn't want it to get worse. Oh, what are they doing at Vantex? Nothing. Yeah, it just runs off of that stuff. Vantex is wax and waterproof. Yeah, it doesn't bother. Water. That, my friend, is it. Now it's just from the rain we had this morning that came down the wall here. Soaked our underbelly. Couldn't yeah. believe it. Which is going to be changed anyway. It's going to make it brand new. Um, taking that. Been out, getting rid of it. Gotta go. Now we might know what happened to our electricity in the house. Not to mention this morning when we came in, it was raining. It sure was raining. It was pouring in here. Yeah. So yes, the leak problem here has not been fixed. We're going to get it temporarily fixed tomorrow. We're going to get this here temporarily fixed tomorrow. And so it doesn't leak anymore. And we're going to put a rubber roof on this thing, give it some overhang. Uh, it, the water won't come down that wall anymore. It, and of course, this is going to have to be addressed. After we get the roof on and it's not leaking anymore, they can worry about this. But they're tearing all this out. The, the ceilings are in great shape. Except for that one spot. Except for that one daggum spot. That came from all the way over here. Literally came from over here. You can see, well you could see if there was a light. Right there. I got one. I got it, Paul. Right there you can see where it's been wet. <coughs> Look how thin this little wall is. It looks like an actual wall, but it's only a piece of paneling, both sides. No doubt they put these things together as cheap as they can. This thing's coming out. We're getting rid of this. You can take the off, you have water. Huh? You take off, you have no, no, if you take that paneling off, there's no, nothing but that little strip. No. There's not even a strip. No. Not something. If that paneling comes off two feet across, it's just a piece of paneling. All the way over. Make it look like a wall. I think it just about be taken out of there. As long as we leave the center wall, 